it every time we have a, a moment we oh, bring ourselves out here to, to enjoy all this beauty that's around us and hopefully catch a few little of these shrimpies. We're rocking. Rocking and rolling. I think them shrimp are back there and I think they're kicking. I mean, each time they kick side to side, yeah, so it's, it's making this boat just jerk back and forth. <laughs> These guys want to know what we caught. Us too. We want to know too. Hey there, buddy. Hey. We got another basket to sort through. Thank, 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 thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. Tiny shark here, and look, he got a shrimp for the he's road. Eating our, he's eating our kid.
chugging along, baby. We're running with the tide at about 14 miles per hour. We're attacking about 2200 RPMs with this 351 uh, Merc Cruiser. We're really not trying to push the boat because, you know, we have a lot of weight on here. And this is my baby. I'm trying to take care of it and just be easy with it. What you drinking? Coffee. Good? You got any more? What's this? Can you turn this top for me? Out on the waters of Beaver 
and uh, rotors or ribs of the boat had been replaced. And when they were replaced, the guys that did it, they come up with these two hatches. So the fuel tanks were messed up too. You guys that dealt with aluminum tanks know that aluminum tanks they have a tendency to start fitting. This boat used to have two small aluminum tanks which they've taken out and replaced with one 85 gallon aluminum tank and these hatches have the easy access to that fuel tank and you know the sending unit and everything so that that you know is a good deal. As far as the rest of the boat very solid very solid the Parker is a heavy heavy boat weighing in at 5300 pounds dry weight 82 gallon fuel tank I'm estimating that at about seven pounds per gallon. So that's, you know, another 550, 600 pounds right there. There's three of us on it. We're about all pushing about two for the grand, two for the 94 for step. And so that's 500. and pulleys allow us to pull through these pulley systems to any point on this boat except over here i don't have one over here i really don't need it over here but anytime that i want to use this i just go you know always back to this one over the winch because it holds it straight above it and i can angle this rope take it out of these these are quick connect blocks or they open so you can easily get the rope in them. I really like them. And that's a little look at this boat. Another thing that I did that you guys might want to do is on these gas engines with the gas fumes, you need to uh, be running a blower. So what I did, just because I'm being kind of scared of stuff like that, we have a manual switch for a blower, and right under it, I put another blower so they both blow out the same port. But time as I switch on the ignition of this boat, you know, it starts blowing. And that's sucking those fumes out through that grate.
two foot of water it was showing there for a second now. Got to watch this area, a lot of sandbars and stuff. Luckily that was two foot, but you know off the tram, sometimes the transducer this uh, out drive, it's hanging down there, I would say another foot on the bottom pole of the boat. But we got a big boat out here today with us. Silver Fox. That's a beautiful boat. I see the guys on the back sorting some shrimp. Could be a good thing. The bad thing is I see them leaving. So I don't know. But what a sight to see. We're coming out of the Morgan River area. We got the egg banks out here to the left. You can see another trawl over here, big boat there, there, there. And a lot of people are, you know, they're seeing that um, there's a lot of shrimp showing up, you know, and they saying, well, why, you know, why are y'all not catching? Well, we're not trawling three miles offshore. We're trawling closer inland now we're coming out to a point where we're allowed to trawl in this area and we like I said we've traveled from the boat landing to here about eight or ten miles to give it a try with you guys there's a lot of beauty to see out here on the water guys if you love this type of stuff I'm intrigued by the open space. I'm intrigued by all the things that we get to see in our shrimp trawl net. I'm wanting to see those big shrimp though. That's what I want. If you guys want to see them big shrimp, stay around. We're going we're gonna to try to show you some at least. Trying to get the camera set up so you guys got a decent view of what's going on back here. We're about to deploy this net. We've already figured out what direction we want to head into, kind of like into the wind and also into the current. Let me get here, Grant. The number one thing is you never want to get tangled up in this net, guys. I've already got the net position laid out so that when it goes out, the doors are pulled off. And I'll hook back to this rope you see right here. This our block with our pool ropes and see if we can get her going. Put our tail buoy rope out. This is what we'll use to come back and check the tail buoy. Or the tail bag. The tail bag. Graham, move over out the way of the camera a little bit. There you go. And it's critical to get our tail bag out straight and make sure that our turtle excluder goes off in the right position with our bullet. See everything starting to pull out guys. I'm gonna get my tail rope 
bag buoy out everything's already hooked up get these from release around the cleats so they can pull off a little stuff speed up a little bit that way it puts more drag on it to pull this net on off Speed up, turn right a little. Hold on, hold. Back. We may be hung up right here. A little something right here, these chains. Alright, here we go. Now. Alright, speed up a little, Steph. Looks good. Move your foot, Graham. Looking up here. A lot going on, guys. You see our ropes going out? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Hung up right here. Neutral. There it went. Go, staff. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. We want to see them two white lines spread right now. Pull, staff. Pull. Go that way. We're going left. Go back towards the buoy a little. We uh, deployed the net in about five or six foot of water, guys. So now we're just gonna start angling around as much as we can, keeping tension on the net to stay in the, go straight now a little. One of the doors were coming over too much, so I just wanted to get up here and get a little better control of the situation, guys. We don't want to get tangled up. That's the critical part. If we can ever get this thing set out right, we have a good chance of catching. If not, we're going to be pulling in a net that's tangled all up and doors that's tangled. And that's not fucking any fun. You'll waste all your time out here. The ropes are looking really, really good now, guys. Stuff's going to ease us towards the buoy, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. See how our two white ropes are spread way out going to the doors? That's what we want to see. That center line is up, and our buoy, I can see it because we're only in six foot of water of the leading edge or bib of the net. The second boy I see floating behind that we'll be checking the tail bag, seeing some dolphin and seagulls over our net already. We're hoping for the best with you guys. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but I hope it's good. Oh, we kill me, right now. Here we go, spin it one more time. All right, hold it right there for me. Hold it right there for me. Got it, you wanna watch this pull it up? Here we go. See what we got. Look like some pretty shrimp in there. <laughs> Woo! Good, yeah. yeah. Good. Woo. Pretty shrimp, man. Woo. Thank the good Lord above, right? Yeah. We 
need to get her something to dump them in because you know in some of the other videos guys we have lost our uh coal bag i'm in our coal table board at the back right here hadn't replaced it yet but i'll get to that grab one of them baskets there Send some pretty shrimp guys grab it The thing about it is I'm watching the weather. Like I was saying, there's some storm, thunderstorms off in the distance. And it's showing this thing coming right up on us, guys. Dolphins swimming right here by us. I know some of you love seeing them dolphins. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And luckily, <laughs> worked out a little deal that I'm a help of one of my friends down here that runs the tight line bait and tackle right on Harbor Island. I'm gonna try to you know help supply him with some small shrimp for you guys that come down here fishing. Stop by and check out Mr. Leon Island and Miss Trish at Tight Lines Bait and Tackle. Tell them we sent you. Please. <laughs> Jumping out left and right. What y'all think? That's a pretty good pull, right? Yeah, let's do it again. And <laughs> we figured out a few things that we can't tell nobody. Cause you know how it is. Shrimping ain't easy. You wanna, you wanna do it? Yeah, let's do it. And you pull, 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 pull. Shrimp all over your feet, y'all. Let's uh, unclean that right there. Unclean it. blocks that are open guys and all we got to do now is go back around to our lead heads of our net where we drop that tail uh, pull ropes hook back to that line and start back pulling we got shrimp jumping everywhere yeah we're gonna hook up and get it back on them guys so guys that definitely wasn't like a huge pull on the shrimp but Going through them, Steph and LeGrand are de-heading those, and we do have those small, small shrimp picked out for the bait shop. So the weather that we was mentioning it has come to, uh, in on us a little bit. Luckily, the wind's coming out of the west, and by us being right here on the east coast, it, the land mass is blocking, you know, the waves from building up too much, and we do have the comfort of the cabin. So, we just going to have to see how this work, works out for us. We're going to try to just pull straight into the wind as much as possible, and uh, let it pass us on by. I don't think it's supposed to get too bad. Like I was saying, it was supposed to come right up on us and break up. You can see over towards Eddystoke, right that way, and back towards land here, it's blowing in on us. We're pulling straight into the wind, and I can already tell it is calming down a little bit, thank God. Everything's looking good. We're staying dry. I know you guys are thinking about it. And we're just hoping that the rest of this video gets done for you guys. Right? Right. <laughs> this is going to go on. 
for old fashioned beef jerky? Yeah. Man. <laughs> now we talking. Now we talking. That'll be good. Keep this boat. So we don't get messed up back here. Keep watching the trial lines. Making a turn. Looks like it's spreading back out. Good. The dolphin and stuff, I can see them. They're just all over the top of the net back there. Eating that catch. Eating that catch. What you having, staff? Nutty Buddy Doritos. Nutty Buddy Doritos. Beef jerky, vines, Fritos. <laughs> we got it going on. We got to save them shrimp, though. Them shrimp, you know. We got to try to get rid of some of them shrimp. We got to cover some of the costs on this boat, guys. That's just the way it goes. You save them. We might need a few with you guys one day. So we've been pulling again for about an hour. We're pulling, pulling, pulling. And we're coming around now down into the Harbor River area. Right out in front of the beautiful houses that's located on Harbor Island. A lot of rental properties here. If anybody ran interested in this area and a great place to fish that I had mentioned out on the point of this beach. We're going to pull a little deeper channel down through here. Come back around, pull that tail bag again with you guys. Stay tuned. We're going to get them. We're going to kill them. That's right. We're going to kill them. Hopefully. <laughs> you know how that goes. It's always good to be positive, though. We're in about 10 foot here now. I'm going to ease us out a little bit more. Try to drop us off in about, I don't know, 16, 18, 20 foot. I am pulling with 150 foot of pull ropes all the time. No matter the depth, the way we've got this set off, that our pull ropes is just 150 foot. No way to winch them in and get them any shorter in shallower water or deep water. So we just keep enough on here. The way I've seen it figured is you need at least five foot of pull lines per foot of water that you're trawling in. I believe is coming around to this tailback buoy and grabbing it. He's gonna show you guys how he can hook it. We can turn on around that stuff, turn it. And the tide has started coming back in now. We 
coming around. The dolphin are all over our net. I hope we got <laughs> Slow down, Steph. Ride a little. Ride a little bit. It's coming right to us, neutral. She's put us right on it. Come up, pick it up, get it in the block. Hook it. There you go, buddy. Hook it on there. Don't get yourself tangled up. Start pulling it, Grant. Yeah. Look at here. I wonder what they're wanting, Steph. They're wanting some of our bait fish. They're wanting anything we can throw back that we don't want. Ted pulled up. And one thing I'd like to mention, if you are thinking about shrimp trawling, if you're using any type of winch on your boat, you have to run a Ted, a turtle excluder. In South Carolina at least. And that's the Ted there. You can see the big bars there inside of it. Oh Lordy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They up in there. We got shrimp, we got fish. This bag is going to be pretty heavy, I think. You better shoot. And if you are not using a tent, you're limited to how long you can trawl. That's to protect the turtles, the sea turtles. What are they, Graham? We got too much up this way. Let it go. Let it go. We need to shake all this down. Make sure we're shaking it down good. Hey there, buddy. Hey. We got a little bit of everything in this That's a little baby one. We're going to leave one loop in it. I'm going to pick up them, get the tail bag over that basket, and then we're just going to undo that one loop. Hold it right there. Pick it up without hurting ourselves. Wait a minute, Grant. Hold on, let this part pick it up. So that way it'll be tall. Let the bag down now. And get that loop out. Got 
Make sure the bag's down in the basket. Down in it. It'll pick it up. Another decent pull. Woo! We can't complain. Let's get this thing tied back up. Woo! Look at it, guys. Woo! We got another basket to soar through. Thank, 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 thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. A little tiny shark here. And look, he got a shrimp for He's the road. Eating their, He's eating our kit. But shrimp jumping everywhere. One thing I want to say, guys, if you're going to shrimp trawl, go ahead and rig yourself up something with a turtle excluder. You uh, will be amazed by how much of the bycatch it'll help keep out of the net. And I think you'll like that way of trawling a lot better. And we're dumping it in this basket, guys, because like he mentioned, we lost the board off of our coil table that will keep everything from sliding out the back. So we just kind of keep it in this just to keep it contained. Got to get another um, board cut for that. We just haven't gotten around to do it yet. So guess on. what? Every time we have a, a moment, we oh, bring man. ourselves out here to, to enjoy all this beauty that's around us and hopefully catch a few little of these shrimpies. And to all the guys out there that's been you know, giving ourselves comments about it, our method of shrimp crawling, I'm telling you guys, it works. It's just different. There's a lot of different things that work. I know some of you guys have some more technical ways of doing it, but this is the way we do it. Another little shrimp, a little shark. Let me try to grab his head so that way he is completely under my control. Doesn't come around and snip my fingers. No, oh, that dolphin checked it out, but he didn't take that shark. Oh yeah. Got some sand dollars. Some other little fishies. Seth, undo that block over there and let that roll back. We'll get set back up and we'll get right back with you. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Nice. That's a cute. That's what we have. Look at here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lord have mercy. That's the big sausage dog oh. shrimp. Uh oh, got the shrimp dance going on on the drag queen. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm ready to check the bag too. 
But I know the longer we pull, yeah. you know, the better chances of us having a big bag. Yeah. Each time we've been pulling them, about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Get a bad pull. <laughs> if that bag gets full, I guarantee you we're going to catch the devil getting it up in this boat. What y'all think? Good look at the Ted here and how it works. And we're in a terrible position. The wind's blowing us against the tide. We could end up rolling a door like this. Yeah, because there's the front line of the net. We don't really want to be coming around like this. The wind has got it. Might be several baskets. We're hoping. Hold this right here for me, man. Swap out with it. Hold on, Grand. Don't try to pick it up now, because that's too heavy for you. get all this 
trying to show you a glimpse of these little babies right here, but. I hope the bait man on Harbor Island can handle plenty of small shrimp because I'm seeing a good bit of it. If he can use them, that's great.